the mountains that make almost any other mountain in the world look like tiny little foothills. Whether you're studying geography, history, biology, or for matter of fact, almost any subject you can study at school, the Himalayas is almost certainly going to teach you about both the past and future of our planet. This incredible range stretches over 2,500 kilometers. It goes from the Kingdom of Bhutan all the way over to Pakistan. Now, one of the best things about the Himalayas is that it's not all about the professional equipment that costs thousands of bucks, high altitude, and the years of training that it takes to do mountains such as Everest, but the low altitude trails, such as in the Annapurna region. The name Annapurna, when translated from Nepalese to English, means the giver of food and nourishment. And this is exactly what you see when you go trekking in the Annapurna area. You see yaks being grazed in high altitudes, buffalo being used in the rice paddies, and all sorts of crops being grown throughout the Annapurna region. I think the region gave a lot more to me than I gave to it. The best example of this is the trek from Gorapani to Poon Hill. So it's four o'clock in the morning. And we're heading off to Poon Hill to see the sunrise. The only problem was, there were quite a few other people there. If I had travelled with an organised group that specialises in this walk, such as World Youth Adventures, I would have been able to have had the place virtually to myself, as they know the best time to go up there when there isn't many other people. You don't need professional equipment or be incredibly fit to enjoy this. You just need two legs and the will to do it. That's the thing about the Himalayas. It's much more easier than you think and more awesome than you could ever believe. I think you've just seen that Nepal is a seriously special place. However, its environment is extremely delicate and is always being put under a threat from the tourism industry. And therefore, it's important when you travel there you go responsibly. How will you look after your porters? And is the place that you're staying using wood that's coming from forests that are seriously under the threat of deforestation? There are many things to think about. And at least one thing you could do is look after what you see. And one of the best ways to do that is travel with an organisation that specialises in such things.